Good evening, ladies and gentlemen in Grand Colony in Nigeria. I remain your own elder state person, Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agbechano, coming away this day, the 2nd of August, 2024. And uh, this time around, on a very brief note, I'm coming up to reply. Um, Bode David, on uh, his reply to my VN uh, yesterday, I got a very great shocker by the reply of Dr. Bode David today. Yesterday, I released a canon on him and I thought he would come up to reply, to react to that allegation, to that accusation, accusation of fraud, accusation of duping, accusation of scamming from somebody who calls himself a pastor. Yes, from somebody who calls himself as going to the mountain to pray. No wonder he had already explained the kind of person he is. That he is the kind of person that can go to the flesh, demonstrate the flesh, and after some time, he will go to the mountain to pray. Yes, I accused Bodhi David of fraud, of scamming his people. He went to his followers, collected money to the tune of 700,000 naira to go and give to Mama uh, Supreme. And he did not do that. And he did not tell Mama Supreme that he even collected the money. Mama Supreme, in, his inv in her investigation, came to know that but they did we do that. And uh, she called Bode David to question. Bode David became speechless. And the resultant effect was that uh, Mama Supreme had to go and lock him up in Baghdadri police station. And on his coming out today, I thought that he will react to that. He did not react to it. So silence means agreement. This is a proof to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that Bode David had accepted that my allegation was true. And instead of him reacting to that allegation, he ignored it. This is how people who are in Theobald group are. They ignore valid expressions because they don't. They don't have. Uh, they, they don't have uh, defense. They don't have defense. But instead, when he came up, do you know what he was saying? He was saying that all Theobald uh, followers should rise and begin to quarrel with uh, Reverend Dr. Agbochano. He was calling uh, Theobald's uh, followers that people should not sit down. They should rise and begin to insult me. They should rise and begin to quarrel with me. And but then David does not know that the voice of Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Arbochano is more than 10,000 voices of illiterates. It's more than 1 million voices of people in Tioba. All the people in Tioba, when they gather themselves on one side, and Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Arbochano, the elder statesman, is on the other side. I will floor them because they are not equipped. They are not equipped. They don't have ammunition. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Since I am righteous, since I have uh, points to advance, all Tioba's subscribers or all Tioba's followers, let them also go and hire other people. Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Abochenu will floor them. 
Me, I don't ask any of my followers to attack anybody. My voice is 10 times greater than the voices of my enemies. So, uh, buddy David, ask Toba's followers. Let them come in their hundreds. Let them come in their thousands. Let them come in their millions, if they are up to millions. Let them come. Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agbochano, a breath through his nostrils will cause them to melt like wax before the fire. It will cause them to disappear like chaff before the wind. Instead of Bodhi David to defend himself, do you know what he came and said? That is number one, he was calling people to come and attack me. And Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agocheno is unattackable. He's unattackable. He knows my track record in the grand ecosystem. But, they do the best. but since their brains are too small, they don't bring all these things into consideration. Who has ever fought with uh, Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agocheno and won? Is there any single person? Anybody who stands against me, I will reduce that person to stubble. That is the record I have in the grand ecosystem. But since they are illiterate, since they are ignorant, they don't package themselves together very well before they do anything. As I am speaking, they know I am speaking fast. But hey, David, I think what you should have done was to clear yourself of the allegations, of the allegation I leveled against you. But since you glossed over it, it is a pointer to the fact that what I was saying was the truth. It was the truth. Yes, you may come and begin to present yourself as a saint before people in your cubicle. They can be singing your praises. Why not? Why not? A goat is always somebody amongst the goats. But a goat is not anything in the den of lions. Yes, that is a word for the wise to interpret. Yes, it's a word for the wise to interpret. But then, David, what you should have done? Me now, if anybody accuses me of fraud, I will come and defend myself. You people have been saying that, uh, yes, uh, when the, uh, the, the subsidiary NGO, they paid 250,000 Naira for me to give to Tio, I didn't give to Tio. Okay, tell Tio to go and arrest me now. <laughs> he told you to go and arrest me. Just like Mama Supreme arrested Dr. Bode David and incarcerated him in Badagri police station. And the Bode David has refused to defend himself. That means he has accepted that that is the truth. And that is the person that he is in your company and you are celebrating. Yes, I dare you to tell you to tell to you or any one of you that paid the money to me, take me to the police. Go and report me to the police. When you report me to the police, eh, tell the police that Tio told me to collect money from you. I collected that money from you, but I did not give to Tio. <laughs> <laughs> I think what the police will be looking forward to is for me to show the proof that I paid that money to you. If I do that, I will be okay. I am very clear. All of you, you know that I am a straightforward person. I am a straightforward person. Either you, who are there that you is deceiving, go and see me in court. Or go and report me at the police station. 
that this was what I did do. I collected money from you. Instead of giving to Tio, I did not give to Tio. Yes, or oh, let Tio himself, just like Mama Supreme did to Bode, let Tio do it to me now. You collected money from the people I told you to collect money from. You collected money from them. These are the proofs of payment that they paid the money to me. But you did not remit that money to you. Uh -huh. Then you will be online. But not to say that, oh, all of you, gather up and begin to go and insult Agochenu. If you insult me, will it pain me? How will it pain me now? I am a man of value. I don't listen to refrains. I don't listen to people who are not focused. I don't listen to people who are not organized. If you do that, it shows that you are not organized. You can only breed within your cubicle. You go outside your cocoon. Nobody recognizes you. Nobody knows that you are there. And the only thing, uh, but then they could say, okay, is to begin to shout, oh, hey, tell me the winner, oh, is a winner, oh, eh, Abocheno is a loser, oh, is a loser, oh. How has Abocheno lost? And how has Tuba won? He can take you from there up again. That is the kind of person that Bode David is. And when he came to their pl platform, uh, they opened one platform. And enemies of Tuba. That was the name they gave to that platform. And enemies of Tuba. They added themselves up to about 1,000. All those uh, people that are claiming to belong to Tuba. You know, all of them, only 1,000. And they added me. And as they added me, then they started insulting me. Do you know the insults that they were giving? Abochenu is ugly. He's an ugly person. Look at him, he's ugly. And another one is that I am an old fool. Ladies and gentlemen, the first one, from the heading of their platform and Tioba's enemies. Can Tioba's enemies end? Can Tioba's enemies end? <laughs> when Tioba himself, when Tio himself is an enemy to himself, even if all enemies are not there, Tio himself is an enemy to himself. The government through the ESCC is an enemy to Tio. <laughs> the government, these are the facts that you people know. I know you people, you don't know how to present facts. You don't even have facts. But everybody knows that I am giving out facts. Those in all ground pressure groups are enemies to Tio. Those in UAG are enemies to Tio because they don't believe Tio has anything. That was why they went to UAG. There are other people that are even neutral. Those that Tio's disappointments have killed their, their children, have killed their siblings, have stopped their people from going to school. Tio's enemies are like the sand on the sea shore. They are like the sand on the sea shore. Can Tio's enemies end? And even you said that opened that platform, you are an enemy to Tio because you don't tell him the truth. <laughs> Instead of you to pursue a uh, discreet values, and they are promoting somebody that has nothing. He will pay, he will pay. He will pay, will he pay? Is that word? That is no word now. 
Everybody can come up and say, I will pay, I will pay, I will pay. Yes, even me that I'm staying here now, I can say, yes, I have money. I will pay, I will pay, I will pay. I will pay. Not I will pay. I will pay, she will stop. I have paid is what matters now, not I will pay. And if you are at the domain of I will pay, keep quiet, don't talk. That is the voice of knowledge. If you are at the verge of I will pay, don't talk. People that are supposed to talk now are people that have paid. I will pay, I will pay, I will pay, I will pay. Is that talk? That is no talk. That is no talk. So that is the issue. You that are saying, Tuba will pay, Tuba will pay, and you are shouting, you are an enemy to Tuba. So even as you are on that platform, and you are advocating to end enemies of Tuba, you, you are an enemy to Tuba. Because the more you come up to say he will pay, he will pay, the more his enemies increase. <laughs> the more his enemies increase. That is that one of end enemies of Tuba. By the moment you say that, that is how the enemies of Tuba increase more and more. Point number two. <laughs> Those of you that but then they say you should come and insult me. You came and you started insulting me. And the insults were in two subdivisions. Number one, that Reverend Dr. Agbochenu is an ugly person. He? Yeah? Theobard followers. If you want to lie, won't you tell a black lie to engage your hearers? in some homework before they find out the truth. Don't tell white lie. Tell black lie. And engage your hearers small. Let them walk before they know the truth. If you say the eldest man is ugly, who will believe you? You will bring yourself out all the more that you are a liar. Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agbochenu is highly angelic. I dye my hair. <laughs> Where God has made me perfect. I don't have bald hair. At uh, 62, at 62, my hair is still complete. For God to give me a pathway for beauty, for handsomeness. So when I come up, I bob my hair. I clip my beard, dye my hair, and I will be coming. If nobody tells you, you won't know that I am in my 60s. You will think I am in my 30s. For energy, I am very strong. I have told you people, time without number, that I still go to the field, to the football field, to play football. If you stand there and say, Ambochenu is an ugly person, your mouth will rotten. You yourself, you know that you are lying. Not to talk of people who are listening to you. I am an elegant person. I am wonderfully, fearfully, and beautifully made. That one, nobody can take that away from me. Yes? You say that because that is your nature. Anybody who is into you must know how to lie. If you don't know how to lie, you cannot be comfortable there. You can never be comfortable there. So, you young man that said, I am ugly, you are saying that because you don't see any insult in me. And you try to fabricate, you, you try to maneuver, and the fabrications and maneuvering are meant for intelligent people. And since all of you that are in you lack intelligence, you don't know how to coordinate. 
Even if somebody does not have insults, there are some people when they are intelligent, they can package some things together, sew a cloth that will fit that person. Why will you say Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agbochenu is ugly? That shows you are quite unintelligent. I am a charming individual, so sound. Yes, in natural beauty and in physical beauty, in divine beauty. I don't lie, both inside of me and outside of me. If you carry out a forensic examination, I am so sound, so sound inwardly, so sound outwardly. This is what everybody knows for your information. That is the area of ugly, of being ugly, ugliness. Number two, they say, I am an old fool. Yes, this is where you have told the truth. The one that you said, I am ugly, that one is fallacy. But the one that you say, I am an old fool, is the truth. Is the truth. I was a fool when I was in Tuba. But now I am no longer a fool. So my folly is old. I left Tiobat and I handed over the folly to you. You are the current fool. You are the new fool. While I am an old fool. Because nobody that is wise can be in Tiobat. Before you stay with Tiobat, first of all, the first letter you get is to become a fool. Is to become a fool. I was a fool like that, yes, of course, when I could not engage my medulla oblongata. Anything Tio told me, I was going like a zombie. I handed over the zombie ship to you people. You people are the current zombies. You are the current fools. You are the new fools while I am an old fool. So the person who dropped that insult on the platform, you told the truth for once by saying, I am an old fool. You didn't lie. You didn't lie. I am an old fool while you are the new fool. Because you are in Tioba. No wise person can remain in Tioba. Ladies and gentlemen, that is where I would like to end this broadcast this evening. Brother David, go and hire all the people in Tioba that you are just about 1,000 and be insulting me. When you pass insult from 6 a.m. till 5 a.m. for 11 hours, the insult that me I release for one hour will swallow up all your insult. Everybody knows that. And you yourself, you know that. In conclusion, I admit that I was an old fool, but no longer a new fool. You people are the new fool. The thief on the cross was better than the Judas in the garden of Gaston. Yes, the repentant sinner is better than the backsliding Christian. Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Abachano is a repentant sinner. While all Jehovah's followers are falling Christians, they are backsliders. A backslider will go to hell. While an old sinner who repents and begins to follow the Lord Jesus Christ will go to heaven. The thief on the cross embraced Jesus and he went to heaven. But Judas that had even been the treasurer of the Lord Jesus Christ lost it at the garden of Gethsemane and he went to hell. So that is how all of you 
that are followers of you will go to hell. Because you are supporting evil. You are supporting extortion. You are supporting fraud. And you don't have the truth in your mind. So when you come up and you begin to say, I am an old fool, instead of paining me, I begin to jump up and jubilate. Oh Lord, I thank you. Because I am an old fool. And I am now a wise person. I'm no longer old. I'm no, I'm no longer a fool. I was a fool. But now I am no longer a fool. But those of you that are in Tiobat now were once wise. But now you are fools. You are the current fools. You are the new fools. But there, David, anywhere things are, he would like to go there and scatter so that he will be a name. That was what he did to Tio, and Tio, Tio could not recognize. All of you, the 1,000 of you, the efforts you are putting up together for Tio is not up to half of what I alone did for Tio. It is a fact undisputable. As Tio is there now, if they arrest him at the police station, nobody will see you people there. The time Tio was arrested by ESC, how many of you came there? It was me that went to EG2 with him. And I was arrested alongside with him. You know that I was not arrested for the sin I committed. No. Was arrested for the sin of Tio. Those of you that are claiming to be to be his followers. Now, how many of you were there? Any time the ELCC officials were advancing to the pharmacy. The pharmacy is close to the ELCC office. They will begin to say, oh, they are coming, they are coming, let us run, let us run. You will all, all picked on on your race. It's only Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agbocheno that would stand. What I did for you, all your efforts combined together cannot match up up to half. That is the fact undisputable. We are here and we are watching. But I am here and now to tell you, those of you that's okay, uh, but then David that's okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, insult a butchin. Is you who don't know. Is it that I'm an old fool that is insult? When when you say that, I'll begin to be happy. Oh, thank you, Father. Because I was an old fool and I'm no longer a fool. I am praying for you people that are there, that are new fools now. I am praying for you people that are, that are current fools now, so that the emancipation that I got, God will also give it to you. Good evening.